Lesson number three about solar energy. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to connect solar energy PV cells in series and parallel. The first part is how to connect PV cells on series, as you can see. So for example, we have three solar cells. Uh, these solar cells are connected on series so we can see the negative of the first one or let's say the positive of cell one is connected to the negative of cell two and the positive of cell two is connected to the negative of cell three and the positive of the cell three we can see we take the voltage here and the negative terminal of the voltage of the final voltage or the output voltage uh, can be taken from the negative of cell one like this so what will be the total voltage now let's see suppose this solar cell produce 0 0.5 volt okay all these cells produce the same voltage 0.5 volt so in series the total voltage is v1 plus v2 plus v3 so we have 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 so the final result is 1.5 volts okay we can see from this diagram if we use one solar cell so the maximum voltage is 0 0.5 if we use two cells the max uh, the maximum voltage is one volt and for three cells is 1.5 volt let's see another example with the current and voltage so we can see here each solar panel produce 19 volt 8 ampere okay and the power is 152 watt to calculate the power you can see we have 152 watt so how calculate the power we know that the power p equal v by i the voltage multiplied by the current so if we do some uh, simple calculation so 19 the voltage is 19 multiplied by 8 which is the current so the result will be 152 watt okay now as we explained in the previous slide we connect on series we connect the cells on series so the positive terminal is connected to the negative ter terminal of the other cell and so on in the serial the serial characteristics in the serial characteristics the voltage the total voltage is the sum of the all voltages so we have you can see the total voltage is 4 multiplied by 19 we have four cells so 4 multiplied by 19 and the result will be 76 volt in the series connection the current remains constant on condition that all the currents are equal okay so in this case we have the current 8 ampere for for all the panels so the result the total current remains 8 ampere the power is equal to the multiplication or the summation of the four panels so we have 152 this is the power of each panel so the total power equal we can see the total power equal 4 multiply by 152 
so the total power equal 608 watt or we can say that the total power equal the total voltage multiplied by the total current so the total voltage is 60, 76 and the total current is 8 ampere and also the result equal to 608 watt now how to connect solar panels on parallel to connect solar panel on parallel we connect each positive terminal of each PV, uh, PV cell or solar cell to other positive terminal okay this means we can see here this positive terminal of the first solar cell is connect to the second solar terminal then connect to the third we can see with the same wire and then we take a wire from uh, this connection so this terminal one is the positive we do the same thing with the negative terminals so we take a wire from each negative terminal and connect them together and finally we take the output like this so now we have two terminals positive and negative this is the output here we have the output voltage and the output current or the total so we can see in this example the same previous one this each solar panel produce 19 volt 8 ampere and we can see the total voltage remains 19 volt because this is, this is a parallel connection and the current is the sum of the uh, current of each solar panel so we have four solar panels so 4 multiplied by 8 and it's equal 32 ampere uh, to calculate the power also the power is the summation of the power of the four uh, panels so we have 4 multiplied by 152 and is it is equal 608 so we can see the power remains the same so in the serial connection or in the parallel connection the power is the same also in solar panels the mixing is allowable so mixing and matching solar panels can be done so in this example we have eight solar panels are connected uh, in series and parallel so this is a mixing connection so now let's see step by step of course we use the same uh, solar panels as in the previous examples 19 volt 8 ampere so in this case we have a serial and parallel connection now let's see these two panels okay so these two panels are connected on series we can see the negative terminal is connect to the positive terminal so these two uh, panels are connected on series also the same thing with these two panels and these two panels and finally with these two panels so this is a series connection in series connection now let's see the equivalent we have something like this this is the equivalent of these two solar cells and this is the equivalent of the second line the third line and the fourth line so in the first line what is the uh, equivalent voltage the equivalent voltage the first one give us 19 volt and the second one give us 19 volt so in series the voltage the total voltage is the summation so 19 plus 19 equal 38 so the total voltage will be 38 volt what about the current the current remains the same okay because this is a series so in series connection the current remains the same so 8 ampere 
and here we have 8 and pair of course remains the same on condition that they are equal so be careful here we have 8 ampere and 8 ampere they are equal so the current will be 8 ampere the same thing with the second line the second uh, connection or the second series of panels so we have 38 volt 8 ampere also we have 38 volt 8 ampere and finally we have 38 volt 8 ampere now let's continue we can see now just we have like this positive terminal so here here we have positive and here we have negative okay so we have like this now let's see we connect all the cells okay so in this case we have a parallel connection so what is the total voltage the final total voltage in parallel connection the voltage remains the same so here we have parallel connection and the voltage is remain the same on condition that all the voltages are equal so we have 38 38 38 and 38 so the total voltage is 38 volt okay so you can see here the total voltage is 38 volt the current is the summation of the eight currents so we have eight plus eight plus eight plus eight or we can say four multiplied by eight and the total current will be 32 ampere 32 ampere so this connection this diagram provide a total voltage of 38 volt and a total current of 32 ampere so to calculate the total power okay so we have just to multiply the total voltage multiply by the total current so we have 38 this is the total voltage multiply by 32 the total current and the result will be 100 sorry 1216 watt okay so we have this value okay this is the end of my lesson thank you